what's going on guys my name is michael and welcome to my first youtube video um, for those of you that don't know who i am i'm a third year undergraduate student here in the university of waterloo in canada and i'm currently just studying at general science basically this video is going to be about how i was able to use anki to be successful in school and how i was able to ace my courses uh, using this anki flashcard system for those of you that don't know anki is like this online flashcard system kind of like quizlet except it's much smarter they have a whole algorithm behind it it's super confusing if you don't know how to use it so that's the whole point of this video my goal in this video is that once you finish you're gonna be able to know how to use Anki and you're gonna be able to incorporate it in your school studies this method is one that I mainly use for memorization based courses like biology um, anatomy uh, kinesiology religion anything like that that you just need to memorize facts um, this is gonna work really really well the timestamps for this whole video are gonna be in the description box below uh, and without any further ado I guess let's get started so the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to download Anki from online. So Anki download. So yeah, you'll get to the site, you'll download Anki, whatever. You'll download depending on the software. So most of you, if you have a Mac, you're gonna download this link, the latest software, and you're just gonna get started basically. And once you have it downloaded, so I already have it on my laptop, uh, you're gonna open it. And then, so I'm gonna create a test drive. So this is my main one. I'm just gonna go with the test one so I could explain um, everything. So your first Anki won't look at this. You could tell from mine that I have some add-ons and I have a lot of things going on, but don't worry about that for now. Just worry about everything I'm gonna show you. So the first thing you wanna do is uh, create a deck. I can make the deck kind of whatever I want. So I'll make it, I don't know, uh, Michael Angelo. Sure. So another thing you could do is create uh, sub decks. So let's say in Michael Angelo's de deck, I wanna create a smaller deck, for example, for like biology, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type Michael, Angelo, and keep in mind it's case sensitive, so you always have to uh, put the exact case. And then you put two semicolons and you're gonna do biology. So now what you're gonna see is biology is right under it. So now if I press on biology, I see that I have no cards. So the way to add a card is you're gonna press add. In Anki, there's so many different types of cards. So uh, as you can see, there's basic, reverse, whatever, all this, all this nice stuff, okay? So a basic card is basically like a regular flash card. That's when you have, what is my name? And then you're gonna go Michael. Oopsies, I didn't spell that correctly. Michael, right? And then I'm gonna press add. We're gonna go back here, close this tab. We're gonna do study now. You're gonna see what is my name. My name is Michael, very good job. That one was an easy one. Now, let me show you a different kind of card that you could add. So you can come here, you could find a close. So close is the one that most people are gonna use. Uh, I'll show you exactly what it is. So let's say I write, uh, my name is Michael. And this is my YouTube channel. Okay, so now you see that I have like a whole sentence over here. So what I could do is I could press on Michael. I go here, I'm gonna press on this guy. It's gonna kind of do some weird stuff around it, but you'll you'll get to understand that later on. And I could do the same thing for this YouTube channel. You see how it's C1 and C2. So this is kind of saying card one, card two. So this is making two separate cards. So one time it's gonna show me without Michael and one time it's gonna show me without YouTube channel. Another thing I could do is basically just put them in the same card. So now if I press add, I'm gonna come back here, resume study. So you're gonna see my name is, and this is my YouTube channel. See, that one was also easy, right? Now, another thing I could do, right? So let's uh, let's say again, whatever, that was hard, sure. Okay, another thing I could do is there's something called image occlusion enhanced. This is another type of a card. It might be useful in like anatomy courses, courses where you need to like get a diagram or something like that. So let's see if I have, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy a card in. So here's just like a random picture I found. We're gonna go over it and you're gonna do right click, press on occlude image, right? You're gonna come over here. You're gonna come to the image and what you could do actually, that's pretty cool. Uh, you kind of just drag over the parts you don't wanna see. So you don't wanna see that, okay, that's cool. You don't wanna see that, that's cool. Keep in mind you could change all the colors. Like there's so many things you could do with it. And we'll go over this one as well, okay? So there's two types you could do here. Here we have hide all guess one, which is basically if you're trying to figure out what's behind this card, these two will still be hidden. Um, and if you do hide one guess one, then when you're trying to figure out what's behind this card, these two won't be hidden, right? So let's say I do hide all guess one. So we're gonna do that, I'm gonna do back, I'm gonna do X, close the current input, because I just made the card so I don't need to make it again, right? We're gonna do study now. Yeah, that was a card from last time that I said I got wrong. We're gonna go with easy this time. 
Then see, here we have the card and the red one is the one I'm trying to figure out, right? And these two, remember I said I did hide all, guess one. That means we won't see these two, but we're just trying to guess this one. And we see it, okay, that's cool, that's nice, uh, easy, whatever. Same thing with this card, you're gonna see the exact same thing. Same thing with this card, you're gonna see the exact same thing, right? So that's basically how you're gonna make the cards, okay? Um, now we're gonna talk to you about how to use the browser feature. So if you look up here, you're gonna see decks, add, browse, stats, sync. Browse is basically everything you have in your deck, whether that's the type of card. See, these are all the type of cards. So you see, I made a basic card today. I made three image occlusion enhanced cards and you could see the covering of them. And I also made a closed deletion, which is this card. So you can easily navigate to them. Now, the same thing with biology. You're in biology deck, I'm gonna be able to see everything. And there's a couple of cool things you can actually do here. So if I right click on one of the cards, you can move the deck around, reschedule it. So if I don't want it to come tomorrow, I want it to come the day after, I can kind of do that, like place and review queue between one day from now and three days from now. So it'll randomly put it either tomorrow, the day after, or the day after that. There's also the repositioning card. Um, and that's also an add-on. I could explain that in a later video. And that's basically how you use the browser feature. And I could kind of move it to any deck I want. Like if I had another deck, I could even make another deck right now. Let's say I do blow up bio. Let's say I do this time, I'm gonna do uh, anatomy, okay? So now this one is in the anatomy deck. So if I press X and I go back here, I'm gonna see anatomy. And that's the card that's in the anatomy deck. And then now I'm gonna show you how to use another cool feature. This is kind of like when you're coming right before the exam and you wanna cram or you wanna look at all the cards, there's something called a custom study feature. So if you open any deck, and you press on custom study down here, you're gonna find a whole list that's gonna come up. So let's say I do study by card, state, or tag, and I'm gonna do uh, all cards in random order. So all cards that I've ever seen in this deck will show up in this custom deck that I'm about to make. So you press on choose tags. Since I didn't make any tags, I could just press okay. And then I'm gonna come up here and now I'll see all five. So just to give you guys a brief summary of everything that just happened, basically you create desks down here, Whenever you want to create a sub deck, you're going to divide them with semicolons. Um, and if you want to add cards to a deck, you can press add. You're going to find different types. Basic was just, just your regular flashcard. Closed deletion is when you have a fill in the blank. Image occlusion is when you have images and you're just trying to um, label. It's like for a labeling diagram. And then here is the browse feature. You could see all the cards you've ever made. So even this custom study session deck that I just made, um, you could see all the cards there. And you could, tell, you could see that it's filtered. Um, and then you can kind of see like basically everything going on. Um, so just quickly, let's discuss the pros and cons of Anki. So there's a lot of pros and the main reason why I use this for school is because it keeps me on my feet, it keeps me on my toes and it helps me always stay up to date with the information, with classes. And I don't really usually have to study the day before the exam. So I kind of do, so let's say we were to go to my regular deck. So let's close, let's do uh, file, switch profile. Let's go to six Atala. So this is gonna be a bit confusing if you guys don't really understand it. So just bear with me, don't worry. So you're gonna see a lot of cards. So today I only did 84 cause I'm basically done school. So I didn't really have much cards to do today. But if you go to like different days, you'll see like, oh, 392, 406. If we come back all the way to January or my MCAT days, you'll see, see 1,450, 1,457 cards. <coughs> reviewed on May 9th and that's when I was doing my MCAT so if you look at my MCAT deck you'll see there's a lot like these are all the cards that I've made AMC I studied with Altius like they're super organized AMC we go to full length you'll see full length one then you can even like you see how organized it is so I can kind of study any deck at any time and same thing with school now like my courses that I'm taking um, biology different modules and the lectures inside those modules you'll see how many cards I've made so for example, in this school year alone, which is my 3A term, I made um, 3,547 cards, right? So that's, a, that, that's very overwhelming. And once you get the hang of it, you'll really um, be able to tell how your progress is going. So the good thing about Anki is that, uh, wait, so now let's switch back to the old profile. We'll do switch profile. So it just has to sync and make sure I did everything. And it's always gonna sync at the end, just it uploads to a database. And if you have this app on your phone or anything, you have to resync. That's kind of how it works. The main pro and why a lot of people use it is because the algorithm that's set up um, is really smart. So anytime I see a card, there's usually gonna be three, sometimes four options. 
and this affects when is the next time I'm going to see it. So if I get this card wrong, I'll press again. Um, it'll show up again that same day until I press good or easy. So here I'm going to press good. So it won't show up in this day anymore. Same thing here. Good. And you see them going away and they're going to show up tomorrow, right? Now, the next feature about it is that there's a lot of add-ons. The more you use Anki, the more you're going to like add-ons because it helps you show your stats. There's always, um, like for example, today, just by doing this practice stuff, it said 30 cards that I did. And do tomorrow, I have two. So it helps me understand what I have to do tomorrow, what I've completed today. The next thing is that you could do Anki on the go. So if you download the app on your phone or on your iPad or on any tablet, so you could kind of study while you're not even at home or um, uh, while you're not really sitting down. And the final thing is that there's a lot of pre-made decks out there that people have already made and you can download and you could put them into Anki. Now, the only thing that kind of sucks about Anki is that if you miss a day, you're gonna have to catch up on those cards the next day, right? So the key is to always do Anki on a daily basis and to continue and continue doing it. Um, and it also takes a long time to create flashcards. Like usually when I create flashcards, I separate them in separate windows. Like I could do um, this, and let's say I want to open my amino acids thing. So it, it takes a long time, right? Uh, then we're going to do add. We'll do whatever deck. It doesn't really matter. Michelangelo anatomy. We'll do close deletion. See, it takes a bit of time. And if you don't have like a big monitor set up like this, or you just don't have the time to do it, it might take you way too long. So it's going to take you a bit of a while to understand how Anki works and everything. And that's normal. But you could always rewatch this video if you have any questions. You can put them in the comments below and I'll try my hardest to answer them as quick as possible. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that it was a help for you guys and that you guys really understand how to use Anki and that you'll be able to start using it now. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please like it down below and please subscribe as well because it does really help me out. If you do have any questions, please feel free to comment them down below and I'll try my best to answer all of them as soon as possible. But other than that, thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.